God has already provided for you a way of escape. Glory to God. So we're getting ready to pray this morning. Glory to God. And we're going to believe God. Amen. You might have a family member or your own personal prayer request. There's stuff going on in now all of our families. How many know I'm telling the truth? But all, I don't care how good you look. Glory to God. Doesn't matter how long your car is or how big your house is. Glory to God. Everybody's got something going on in their families. Glory to God. Everybody. Glory to God. But you got to understand that God, come on, you make sure that God is going on in your family. You make sure God is going on in your family. Glory to God. Reverend Allen, while you're there, I'm going to ask you to come and lead us in this prayer. Glory to God. This prayer of intercession. Would you do that? Glory to God. Let me do that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hearts, minds settled in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Master, we come before you as we say, as humble as we know how, Lord God. And we come, Lord God, not to tell you what's going on because you are an omniscient God. You already know everything. Lord God, we're not asking you to come to where we are because you are an omnipresent God. You are everywhere. We come because you are the powerful God that can handle everything. You are omnipotent. You have all power in your hands. We come to you, Lord God, because we know that God's got it. No matter what's going on in our lives and in this world and on this planet, Lord God, those that have faith in the master, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we come because we know God's got it. Lord God, there's nothing you don't see. There's nothing you don't know, Lord God. Lord God, if we need healing, you said you are Jehovah Jireh, uh, Jehovah Rapha. You will heal. Lord God, heal minds, heal bodies, heal spirits, Lord God. Healing is not just for the body, Lord God. Healing is for the mind. Healing is for the spirit. Healing, Lord God, is for us physically, emotionally, mentally. Everything we need, Lord God, is all wrapped up in you, Father God. Father God, we need provision. Lord God, when you said you were Jehovah Jireh, you said, I see and I provide. Oh, Lord God, so we thank you that you see, you provide. Lord God, you see the chaos that's going on in this world, Lord God. Nothing slipped by you. You don't take naps. You don't go on vacation, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. You said, I am not man. I do not sleep. I do not slumber. That's why we can call on you, Father God. Watch over our children, Lord God, as they go to and from to school, Lord God. It's not even considered a safe place. So let us cover our children in prayer every morning, every day, wherever they are, Lord God the sick and the infirmed, wherever they are, hospitals, homes, Lord God, in nursing homes, wherever they may be, because of your omnipresence, you're there, you know it, and you have purpose in it, Lord God. Let us draw the faith that we have in you and stand firmly in knowing that in everything we have you, because Lord God, in you we live and move and we have our being, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for the healings already. We heard of the healing from cancer. Lord, you didn't stop with just one person. You are the healer, Lord God. As I pray, heal, Lord God. You are in the spirit realm. The Holy Spirit is everywhere. So as I speak, heal, Lord God. Heal that child. Heal that mother. Heal that father, Lord God. Heal that niece. Heal that nephew, Lord God. Lord, God, heal physically and then, Lord God, give deliverance, Lord Lord God, the enemy wants to take him, but we have the power, Lord God, in prayer to snatch him from the enemy, Lord God. We bind, Lord God, here 
on earth. You said anything we bind in earth, we bind in heaven. We bind all kinds of addictions, Lord God. We bind everything that will draw anyone from you, Lord God. Then we loose, Lord God, the truth of who you are, that you came and you said, I am the way. You said, I am the truth. You said, I am the life. You said, no man, no man, no man comes to the Father, but by you. Father God, we don't know all the words, so you give us a tongue. You give us a language. You give us a language that through the power of the Holy Ghost, you can hear the utterances that we don't even have the words to say, Lord God. We lay our souls prostrate before you, Lord God. So much to ask for. So much to ask for on behalf of others. You said, cast our cares on you because you care for us. Put our burdens on you. You even said that no weapon. You said no weapon formed against us will prosper. No weapon. So Father God, I give Satan notice. These are the children of God. And there is nothing you can do, Satan. Nothing you can do to take us from the Lord. We are grounded and rooted in the Lord. And Father God, we believe you that you will deliver us. We thank you that we are living and walking an eternal life. We already have an eternal life with you. Lord God, we pray comfort to those that are mourning right now. Those that are in bereavement, Lord God. But if they loved one died in Christ, they're asleep in Jesus, Lord God, with assurance of an eternal life with Christ. And those that don't know you, <laughs> Jesus, God, give us a passion and a heart to go and beat the bushes, compel them, disciple them, and let them know there is a man named Jesus. There is a man that died on Calvary's cross. There is a man that God sent that the whole world might be saved. You want the whole world to be saved. And you're using us, use us to share the truth of who you are and all that you can do. Because Lord God, I know you know this and I'm going to share it in my prayer. There's a song by a songstress, a psalmist named Yolanda Adams. And her song says, it's already all right. It's already all right. Walking knowing that it's already all right. In the mighty, powerful, matchless name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior and our Christ, that is the name in which I pray. Amen. God bless you. Come on, give God a praise. Somebody shout, it's already all right. Glory to God. Sister Francesca Brooks, it's already all right. Glory to God. I see you there. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's already all right. God bless everybody today. Thank you for that wonderful prayer of intercession. Glory to God. And as the missionary, uh, Corrine Burnett said, Saints of God, they're praying five days a week. Amen. Solid Rock is praying Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 noon and Tuesday and Thursday at 6 a.m. Still praying. Amen. Come on, join in, be a part. Well, glory to God, saints of God, we're getting ready to for the word of the Lord. Amen. The final word. And we're going to hear that as we just talked about couples. Amen. So now we're going to hear from the other side. Uh, some would say the better half. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, I'm sorry. The better half went first. I'm sorry. I said that all. Got that all mixed up. That wasn't of the Lord, y'all. That wasn't of the Lord. I was. We were getting ready to hear uh, about this morning. This morning. Glory to God. We're getting ready to hear. Amen. From uh, Elder Lambert. We're going to pull him away from the media back there. Amen. So that he can come and break with us the bread of life. Please, everybody stand and receive the Elder Kevin Lambert as he prepares to. Deliver us the word of the Lord. Amen.
Oh, can we say praise the Lord? Y'all yeah. no, better stop laughing at me. I know I got a lot of gadgets. But you know, um, Reverend Allen, you really blessed my heart. Um, I just, before you say first lady, before you say pastor, just want to have a, a real small prayer because it's, it's my nerves that kind of get me. Is that all right? Y'all ever get nervous? Point your hands towards Brother Lamb and say bless him. It didn't sound like y'all believed that. Say it again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I feel my help coming now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. I thank you because you're God and God all by yourself. No other God, nowhere, no how. I got to ask that you cause me to decrease so that you might be glorified. Not that my shadow can ever overcast yours but that my pride doesn't get in the way of your word. Bless me now so that those that would hear the words from your book, the love letter you wrote to me that I would share with them, that that word would be clear and precise and it would reach those in who it was intended. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. And amen, 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 amen. You, yes, that's right. You can take your seats. Uh, you need something from me? No, I got these right here, man. I, I'm Inspector Gadget. I got them all over the place. But thank you for that. I uh, want to say thank you to my wife. Uh, you know, <laughs> y'all might call it the better half. I call it the only half. Because when God put us together, we became one. And let no man tear asunder. All right, so. Yeah, uh, my wife spoke so great this morning, and and I had a little illustration that I wanted to to show that kind of highlights some of the things that uh, my wife and I have been going through for oh, so many so many years. How relationships can change uh, without even any notice. You just wake up one morning and the relationships aren't the same, and sometimes we don't understand why. But I will share this little story, and then I'm going to get on down the road. My wife told me years ago uh, about her sisters. And this one particular story kind of stuck with me. Because it was a story that reminded me of how God covered me. They got picked on, or Deb got picked on a lot when she was in school because of her family dynamics. And she was in an area where they just couldn't understand it, right? And one day, these girls got around and, and, and started to try to hit on my wife. I wish I had been there. Tried to hit on my wife, you know, just was doing some horrible stuff, just trying to get at her. And her sister took her coat and wrapped her in the coat and protected her and took the blows for her. I'm going to let that sit for a minute because I don't think you got that. So I'm going to say it this way. God has covered you and he has taken the blows for you. Now, just under that jacket, she could still feel the hits, but they were lessened because she was covered. So when the devil begins to hit us, we got to remember that we're covered by the blood. And the veil buffers all the attack of the enemy. We have to remember that when we stay in the goodness and the grace and the mercy of God, it doesn't matter what, I, what comes Brother Lambert's way. If you don't believe me, read the story of Job. We have to remember and never forget who God is in our life. Well, let me say that this way. Sometimes we recognize who God is in Simpkin's life. We can see God in your life but we forget who God is in Lambert's life. I have to remember that he is the alpha and the omega. I remember that he is the beginning and the end. I have to remember that he's all in all. I have to remember that he told me he would never leave Lambert nor forsake him. That means it doesn't matter what I go through. God got my back. He has me covered under his blood. Thank God for Jesus. 
I'm going to pick up where my wife left off over in Philippians chapter uh, 4. And I'm going to start at verse number, I'm going to start where she started. Be careful for nothing. Oh, if you want to stand, please do so. Be careful for nothing. But in mind says everything. By prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, my brothers, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Verse number nine, and then I'm closing with this. Those things which I have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. You may take your seats. Pastor alluded to this, and it's something that's been on my heart, on my mind for years. I remember back at Glad Tidings. I preached a, mess, a message, and it was entitled, The Battlefield of the Mind. And one of the themes that I had for that was that the mind is a horrible playground in a dangerous minefield. If we don't keep our mind under subjection, it's like playing in a field of minds. It's like when I was in the projects on, on Friday, the uh, playground was good. On Saturday, playground had bottles and needles and all this stuff that was harmful for, to, for you because of the way the world just dumped all of their junk in the kids' playground. Y'all ain't hear anybody. Sometimes the devil while we sleep are sowing bottles and needles and junk in our gardens, in our playground, in our mind, and we begin to believe what the devil has seeded. Okay, let me give you this example. We hear a lot now about anxiety. Anxiety is when your mind just keeps running from one thing to another. It goes from this to that to this to that. And it seems to never be any end to it. But I want you to consider this. I want you to consider when you were young and, 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 and you were doing stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a, 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 a young adult and, before you got saved and, and you, you wanted to go out to the party, right? You get dressed and, you know, guys would get dressed. Yeah, I'm going to catch that girl today. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I got everything. Got everything looking good. And all of those thoughts that you had were good. If you played football, you say, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this way and I'm going to do that. Yeah, and the crowd's going to go crazy. If you played basketball, you say, yeah, I'm going to do these moves. And then when you start to get around 40 or 50. And now those thoughts change. That friend you had that encouraged you, that said, you're going to do good. Now it's saying, well, what if? See, anxiety has a bunch of what ifs. What if this happens? What if that happens? And if that happens, this is going to happen. And when that happens, that's going to happen. And, when, and it's always negative. Have you noticed that? That anxiety only leaves you negative. But our Bible says, think on the things that are true. Think on the things that are honest. Think on the things that are lovely. Think on the things that are a good report. Remember me? Remember what I promised you that I would never leave you nor forsake you? So it said, create in me a clean heart. And renew a right spirit in me. Let me have the mind of Christ. When we remember whose we are and the promise he made to us, then we don't need to be afraid of this gospel. We can use the gospel for our good. Oh, y'all didn't catch that, right? See, 
I don't know who the Bible is written to for you, but it's a love letter God wrote to me. And he has given me some promises and he has given me some direction. And it's not for me to use the Lord over you, but it's for Lambert to fall under the grace and truth of what the word says. Then I can stand flat footed. Go with me to Romans, uh, Romans chapter one. Oh, Pastor, I'm getting out your way. Romans chapter one. I believe it's down at verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is what? The power of God unto what? Salvation. To everyone that what? Believeth. To the Jews first and also to the Greek. Therefore, there, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Just live by faith. The just shall live by faith. So just live by faith. Just live by faith. It doesn't matter what I go through, my brother. When we live by faith, God wins in the end. And if God wins, we win. Why? Because we're on his team. Well, maybe you're not. I'm on his team. I might be a bench sitter today, but I'm waiting for the call. Y'all ain't hearing nobody. See, I was on second string, so sometimes I had to wait for the call. I had to wait. And sometimes, and this is bad, but I did it, you know, hey. Man, I hope homeboy get hurt. <laughs> he said, Pastor said, I did too. <laughs> right? That was before I knew Jesus. Now I just wait for my time. Right? I just wait for my time. My time's coming, Sister Jackson. And all I have to do is wait on what God has for me. And I'm going to leave you with this. And I want you to really consider this. I want you to consider your life. I want you to think about all of the dark places God has already delivered you from. I want you to think about where you stand today, no matter what's going on in your life, whether you've lost loved ones, whether you're struggling with folks that are in the hospital, whether you're battling with cancer or COVID or whatever it is that the world's going to throw. I want you to consider where God has already brought you from, how he already delivered you from stuff, and he has you standing right now. That's why we can go from faith to faith. That's why we can live by faith. That's why we can turn off the radio in our mind and we don't have to think about all of these what ifs, but we can think of them. In, what if God blesses? Oh, look at what God's getting ready to do. Oh, God got that car for me. God got that wife for me. God got that husband. Oh, God got that child saved. Oh, God got this going for me. I'm so happy, pleased that God got it going on. What did that widow, widow woman say? Uh, when, uh, when uh, Not the widow woman, but the uh, woman who uh, son, uh, God blessed him with a son, and, and, and the Shulamite woman, and, and the, the, the woman, son died. What did he say for uh, uh, Reverend Allen? He said, all is well, right? And I want to let you know, I want to leave you with this. All is well, all will be well, all is good in Christ Jesus. So you just keep the faith. Don't be afraid or ashamed of this gospel, but let it be written in your hearts because you are living epistles read of men. No one will read the Bible, but they'll read your life. You pray for us. That's the name of the Lord. What a word. Amen. Somebody ought to just give God a praise right where you are. Glory to God. Come on, give God a praise right where you are. Glory to God. We honor the Lord. Amen. Listen, everybody stand. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. We've heard some encouragement today. We've, I said we've heard. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on back. Glory to God. We've heard some encouragement today. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise. Somebody in the chat box write, it is well. Come on. Glory to God. Come on, right. It is well. Glory to God. Yeah, but there's still heat in my home. It is well. 
glory to God. There's still turmoil, glory to God, around my premises, but it is well. Glory to God. Sickness has tried to invade my domain, but it is glory to God. Glory. I woke up this morning, glory to God, with a headache, but it is glory to God. Amen. It is well. Glory to God. Sometimes when you're on your way to do the best for God, the enemy attacks to impede your progress. And you ever notice how God has done something wonderful in you, and then the enemy tries to steal the joy out of it? Take the juice out. Glory to God, before you get to enjoy it. Amen? That's what the devil does. I'm, I'm, I'm Lambert. I didn't play second string much, but I did a couple of times. <laughs> and I could relate. <laughs> Not bad, Lord. Don't, 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 I don't want to get hurt bad, but I do want to get in on this play. <laughs> I got this play down. I practice this end around. Glory to God. <laughs> practice this. Glory to God. Listen, saints of God, you're in the game. You're in the game. Right where you are. Lift your hands. We're prepared to go, but I, I want to pray today. Glory to God for some of you who might be dealing with some things that are troubling you, that are laying heavy on your heart, heaviness on your shoulders, the shoulders, your mind is, glory to God, as he talked about anxiety, glory to God. And then you're right, sometimes the enemy comes with what if, and then it goes with something that's not good, glory to God. But God said, he told me you to say, I can do all things through Christ. Because he strengthens me. Hands raised. Father, we thank you for the hands that are raised today, both here and online. We declare, God, that doors are open for us. We declare, God, that ways are made for us. God, we understand that sometimes we don't know where you're taking us. We don't know why we're going through what we're going through. God, it's not that we sinned. It's not that we did anything wrong. But we understand that all things work together for good. Not that they are good, but they work together for good. Because we are the called according to your purpose. And so, God, right now, encourage the hearts of your sons and daughters and let them know, God, that no matter what they're facing, you're still in control. That, God, there's no temptation taking us, but such that is common to mankind. But you will, with the temptation, make a way of escape that will be able to bear it, to deal with it, indeed, to succeed on the other side of it. And so we bless you now. Now, thank you for the service today, God. Thank you for those that have joined us. Thank you for those that are in this sanctuary right now worshiping you. Thank you for the assembly, God. Thank you for the assembly. Now, God, as we leave this place, but not your presence, keep us in the center of your will and the hollow of your hand. God, we give you glory and honor and praise. Take us safely over the highways. Bring us back the appointed time. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God and amen. Listen, before I, you go anywhere, and those of you online as well, I want to say to you on behalf of my wife and I, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your care. Thank you for your amen, the, your sacrifice. Thank you so very, very much. Whatever you do or whatever you don't do, thank you. Amen. Just because you're listening to me, you're encouraging me right now. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.